This is my second course on Udemy. Again, I want to keep my focus on Flow, and the course is called Master Microsoft Flow Expressions in Two Hours. Let's see what I got inside this course. I'm so excited to share it with you. The very first course that I published on Udemy was Microsoft Flow Crash Course. Let's see how we did on that course. I'm very pleased with the results that I got. With more than 500 enrollments so far, and feedback like this, I'm very excited to continue this work and release courses after courses on Udemy. My new course is called Master Microsoft Flow Expressions in Two Hours, or in short, Flow Definition Language that we use it to write expressions in Microsoft Flow. I designed this course to deliver everything that I know about flow expressions in two hours. So let's take a quick look at the course structure and see what we got here. I know immediately you say, Ali, come on, you are out of your math skills. You say in two hours and you have more than three hours lecture. Well, yes, let me explain it for you and you will see how it adds up to two hours. This is how the course is designed. I assume that lots of people, they already know JSON, but if you're not familiar with JavaScript object notation or JSON, I have one complete section that covers JSON. So everybody's on the same page to start the course. Then we go to the data operations. These are the visual actions that we can use, but mostly we are working with expressions with them. Then we dig into the flow trigger. We need good understanding of JSON to understand flow trigger. Once we are good with all these three, we can actually start working with flow expressions. So I'm basically going through all the functions, all the expressions, some simple and some complex scenarios, and how to use flow expressions. This chapter is not very big. It's mainly working with the functions combined with the knowledge that you gain during this process. And in the end, I decided to put everything in a real life example and bring my field experience to you and show you how you can actually work with the flow expressions in the real life and doing things that possibly you cannot do it without flow expressions. The JSON chapter is very straightforward. I cover the meaning of object, property, and array in JSON, and I have a simple example to combine all this knowledge in one somehow complex class. So I make sure everybody has enough JSON knowledge to continue with this course. And these are the data operators that we use in Microsoft Flow, but I cover three of them mainly, Compose, Filter Array, and Select. I've already covered Parse JSON in the Microsoft Flow Crash Course. Although it is very useful, I really don't care about it because it's so easy that I don't think someone at intermediate level really even needs explanation for Parse JSON. In the flow triggers, I'm covering the triggers, but not the way to use it. We want to see what goes on behind the curtains. So we basically lift the hood and we examine the JSON objects inside the trigger. And finally, we go through flow functions. There are multiple groups of functions, but on every function group, I'm picking up the most important functions that we need to cover. And I'm covering all of them with live examples and how to use them. For the functions, I'm going with a brief explanation like this, followed by a live demo for every single one of the functions. And finally, this is gonna be a real life example. I picked up one scenario from my actual clients, and I'm gonna show you how flow can be used to solve a real life business problem. It's a long something around 20, 25 minute demo. And now the course roadmap should make sense. But still the question is there. Ali, you said two hours. Your lectures are three hours and seven minutes to be exact. Yes, sure. Introduction, I don't count it. I consider JSON as prerequisite. We don't really get into flow expressions. So if you really look into that, this section of the course, which is data operators, flow triggers, and working with expressions is the two hours. This is to show you how to use everything we learn in a real life example. Now, if you have already taken my Microsoft Flow Crash course, this is the opportunity to take your knowledge to the next level. Moving from completely visual stuff to writing codes and expressions and taking your flow design and flow development knowledge to the next level. Uh, if you haven't done that and you're just curious to see how flow expressions work, based on your past experience, this course will do a perfect job for you to cover you for the expressions only. Now we are in the sweet part of the course. I am sharing 10 free vouchers for this course. So if you're interested, 
just make sure you are a subscriber, subscriber that I can actually verify. And I also want you to put a comment in this video and tell me that you want a free voucher. It goes based on first come, first served. So the numbers are limited. Let me know as soon as possible. Take care and see you in the next videos, both on YouTube and Udemy.